Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody's having trouble with the clone tool and making it work with the transformation docker. So we've got a, a circle or an ellipse, a curve on layer one. We're going to go to edit and we're going to clone it. And then I'm going to rotate it. I'm going to double click on it. I'm going to move the rotation in the center. Double click on it again, make sure we're there. And I'm going to rotate it 10 degrees. Now we have two copies. If you rotate something 30, uh, 10 degrees, you need 36 copies. So now we're going to apply. And this is what his problem was. You can't grab it with the pick tool. This is your control curve. If you grab it with your pick tool, nothing really happens. But if you grab it with the shape tool, see what happens? You have to use the shape tool. And we can actually bring this in a little bit so they kind of look a little better. And then you can do anything you want to with this clone. And you can even take this handle and kind of invert it and make it look like a flower. So to, to manipulate the clone, you have to use the shape tool. And I rotated that first one out of the way just so it would, so I could rotate not the clone but the duplicate. So let's go over that again. I'm going to delete that one. We have a curve on layer one. I'm going to go to edit and clone. I'm going to double click. I'm going to move the rotation to the center. Double click again to make sure it's in the center. And I'm going to rotate the first one 10 degrees. Now we're going off that one, and I'm going to do 34 copies because we've already got two. Hit apply. Then grab the shape tool, and you can do anything you want to with it. It's pretty cool, but you have to kind of do it uh, with the shape tool. You can move the, and also you can do this. Let's set our nudge factor pretty low, 0 0.005. Click on the your clone. And let's nudge that over just ever so slightly. See, it's doing it to them all. And instead of moving it, you can kind of see it. Now let's nudge this one over the other way. And what it's doing, it's putting them all. And you can barely see that, but now they're all kind of equal. The sides aren't hitting. And you can still manipulate it to your heart's content by taking the shape tool and we'll spread it all the way up to here, grab that handle and do a lot with it, make any kind of pattern you want. That's the clone tool. I hope that helped a little bit and answered his question and thank you for watching.